the ethical implications of fairness, authenticity, and political surveillance in our modern landscape are profound. Senator Tom Cotton's sharp criticism of Kamala Harris underscores a crucial need for transparency and accountability in political leadership. By spotlighting these issues, we can shape public awareness of campaign priorities centered on fairness and equity. I appreciate that you're critical of her not doing more interviews and engaging in more unscripted events. You've just done a decent job there of explaining the potential policy differences between the former president and the vice president. But Trump doesn't do that himself. No, he and, once and again I dispute this week, that. Well, just... but he wants, let's hold on a second. What earned him the most attention this week? Questioning whether or not the vice president is black. That became the big focus on him this week. Instead of those conversations about policy that you suggest should be the focus of the campaign. No, no, Ed, I dispute that. I, I watched his uh, conversation at the National Association of Black Journalists. I watched last night at his rally in Georgia. The vast majority of that time is spent contrasting his record of peace and prosperity and the Biden-Harris record of high inflation and a wide open border and war and chaos around the world. I know you, you played a clip of him airing differences with other Republicans, but the vast majority of it was what you showed at the beginning of this show when he talks about Kamala Harris' record of being a radical trans activist or wanting to ban cows or ban oil and gas production. That's where President Trump's focus has been throughout this campaign. And as the American people start getting answers from Kamala Harris, which as you said, I'm sure you're going to insist upon, you got shamed by the White House last month for having the temerity to ask about Joe Biden's age and infirmity, they're not going to like what they hear. So I think it's incumbent upon the media to hold Kamala Harris to the same standard that every other nominee who earned their nomination has ever been held to. Donald Trump in 16, Barack Obama in 08, they all had to go through more than a year of testing at town halls and VFWs and debates because they earned the nomination. Kamala Harris had it given to her. For two weeks, she's dodged the press. She can't dodge the press for another 13 weeks. Tom Cotton's pointed remarks about Kamala Harris call for greater fairness and accountability in the media. Harris, like all political candidates, should adhere to stringent standards. Accepting Cotton's criticism means demanding more transparency and thorough scrutiny of Harris's records and policies, especially on critical issues like high inflation, border security, and foreign policy. Cotton's comparison of Donald Trump's legacy of peace and prosperity to the chaos of the Biden-Harris administration underscores conservative values of strong leadership, national security, and economic stability. This comparison questions the authenticity of Harris's campaign and raises ethical concerns about how the media presents and scrutinizes her. By analyzing Cotton's statement as a call for genuine participation and accountability, we urge Kamala Harris to be more open and transparent with the public. True leadership should face tough questions and be honest about their policies and actions. Calls for equal scrutiny are demands for the authenticity and integrity of political leadership. Cotton's statement resonates with the public's sense of fairness and justice, insisting that Harris be held to the same standards as her predecessors, leverages the universal desire for fairness and accountability subtly casting doubt on her credibility and legitimacy. Discussions about Donald Trump's emphasis on policy differences rather than race seek to counter media narratives and shape public awareness of campaign priorities. Supporters of Trump and the broader public see Cotton's criticism as justified and necessary for ensuring media fairness towards Harris. They deeply appreciate Cotton's focus on policy issues, and his endorsement of Trump's election strategy.